Hey, what's up guys? This is T-Bone here. Welcome back to another episode of playing Gemstone Legends. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about my own hero, T-Bone, that is now in the game. I am super excited. I love his outfit. I love the little angel that's my pet, uh, which is based, again, on the logo of my uh, of my brand that's on my hat right now. I just love everything about him, so I can't wait to talk to you about his skills, his loadout, and also share a little bit about my experiences as I went through this whole journey to actually get him into the game. But before we go into more details, I'm going to share a code with you today. It is going to be T-Bone underscore package. This is a, a little bit of something that I wanted to give you uh, to appreciate uh, everyone for all of your support so far. And hopefully this is going to help you with um, upgrading the hero after you pulled him. So real quick, before we go into the details, I wanted to share a little bit of a history and my journey of getting this hero here. Uh, so, you know, uh, the Streetbot Gaming devs actually really surprised me when they approached me and told me that they were going to create a hero based on me. And so what we did was we talked a little bit about ideas on like what I think the hero would be like. And then they sent me a conceptual art, helped me, you know, gave me options to choose from what I would like to see. And then they kept going and the, the, based on the iterations, you know, they gave me a final design and I just, you know, was so excited to be part of that. Then we had a contest to decide on the skills for the hero, and I wanted to congratulate Super Nerd, who was the winner of the contest and got a free hero as well. So on a personal note, uh, you know, I took a look at the, I was able to take a look at the skills and, you know, compare notes with the devs. I actually hit all of the names, by the way. I didn't want to get any, you know, a bias by seeing any familiar names. I took a look at just the skills and how it resonated with me, how it resonated with the dev team, and what we think was possible based on the recommendations. So I wanted a hero that was easy to use, uh, easy to understand, and be useful in many situations. So let's talk about the skills, and hopefully you agree with me. Hope you'll, hope you'll like the skills, and let me know in the comment below what you think about the hero. Personally, I just... I could not get over the, the the angel. He's actually I actually named him like when I thought about the character. This was this is a logo and a brand that's been with me for a long time, and I've always called him Angel. So that is the name of my little pet. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about now the skills. So uh, special ability Lucky Card is a um, it's all about it's all about defense, uh, decreased defense, and also vulnerability, just like what Mayra does, and also deal damage. But uh, you need accuracy to be able to land these debuffs, and it just so happens that you will also deal damage based on the accuracy amount. So uh, the higher the accuracy you have, the more damage you can deal to your enemies. And then the passive ability, this is an interesting one, where it, at the beginning of uh, the turn, you're going to remove negative stats from, the, um, from your allies. You're going to also remove positive stats from your enemies all on your turn. And you're also going to be dealing true damage. Now, when you deal true damage, uh, it, it means it bypasses all defense values of your opponents, but it also means that you don't get buffs from your critical damage. The thing that does change how much true damage you're going to deal is going to be based on your accuracy amount. So again, the only way to change how much damage you deal with your true damage is by increasing your accuracy. And what it does is it will attack opponents who have high accuracy. So he will be really good against Zarkon, for example, because he will always target Zarkon, who most likely will have the highest accuracy in your enemy uh, lineup. He also will have a mana gain if you go high enough. So there's only four levels of the passive ability because you can't, you don't actually increase the number of uh, stats you can remove, uh, but you can increase the amount of uh, true damage that you deal based on the passive ability. So with that said, uh, you know, accuracy is going to be the name of the game. Uh, if you take a look at his awakening, I have him at five star right now. And at six stars, he will also have accuracy as part of his awakening skill. So you can see it's all uh, accuracy. And if you look at his uh, leadership ability, he also increases accuracy by 40% in all parts of the game. Whether you're in Rift or in Arena, or if you are in Wars, you will, if you use him, he can be your accuracy leader by 40% to give him more damage. Okay. And so, because I personally have a, uh, I like the playstyle of dealing damage while doing negative uh, stats, I chose to go with, <clears throat> excuse me, critical damage for my gloves. Okay, and I have two sets of curse to give me more accuracy. And also, I went with an accuracy 
um, armor. Now, I don't have six uh, full cursed gears that would give me what I really wanted. And so uh, right now I just have two sets on it. And then uh, for the boots, I decided to go with speed. This one is, you know, I think preferential, whatever you decide. I chose to go with speed so that I could actually um, go more often so I can use my passive ability more often. You can also go with health, health if you wanted to, so you can increase a little bit of survivability. A little bit more health, so you can take more hits. But, you know, ultimately what you really want to do is you want to get protected by a tank or someone. Uh, but you can dish out pretty good damage with him while landing uh, some some good dam uh, some negative uh, stats. So you can deal more damage on the same opponent afterwards. So let's take a look at him in action now. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at T-Bone's skill in action right now. We're going to jump into campaign, and we are going to have Sigilous Leader for speed. And then I'm also going to bring in Streetbox so I can show you what happens when he has a passive ability that gives an additional uh, accuracy in how much damage he can do then. So we're going to start by taking a look here. Now, one thing I do want to call out, uh, as you're playing with this hero here, remember that uh, T-Bone will actually decrease defense and uh, inflict vulnerability first and then deal damage. So if everything lands, then you'll have your maximum damage output. But if any of those um, negative stats actually gets resisted, because remember, there's always a chance that your enemy will resist it regardless how high your accuracy is, then your damage output will actually differ. So let's take a look and see how much damage we deal with the first hit. So 31,000 and 22,000. You see that? Actually, this is perfect because it actually happened the way I wanted to see. It also attacked twice because I have the Murderer's Frenzy Relic here, so it does give me a chance to attack twice. Now, you notice the first time we got 31,000. That was because I actually have both uh, uh, defense down and vulnerability. And then the second hero only had uh, vulnerability and his increased de uh, decreased defense actually got resisted. And so... Uh, it, that's the reason why you see a difference in the damage. Now let's move on. Let's just continue. And uh, what I want to do now is show you his. Um, I want to show you his um, passive ability. Where at the beginning of his turn, he's going to deal. Uh, he's going to deal true damage to an enemy. Okay, so let's pay attention to the actual damage output. So you can see 7,000. Notice there's no critical damage here. This is what I was talking about. It, you don't actually get critical damage output uh, from uh, from the passive ability when it's true damage. And so that is uh, something to keep in mind. But you know, I just wanted to show you how that works. So at the beginning of every turn, his turn, he's going to deal damage to a random enemy or a enemy with the highest accuracy. And so you can expect consistent damage output from him. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, you know, Haran or a raid boss, for example. And, you know, let's see how T-Bone works in these situations. So I'm not, this is not necessarily the team that I would recommend to set up. I'm actually using this to show uh, what the, you know, show a comparison of the various different heroes that are possible you can use. And Take a look at the scenarios here. So let's see if when Haran goes, if he's going to give himself any buffs, and he does, right? So he's going to give himself a couple of buffs, and it's going to be T-Bone's turn next. So he's actually going to start by removing one of the positive stats, and then you notice that he damaged uh, Haran for 7,000 with his passive ability. That 7,084 was the same value you saw in the previous fight in the campaign. So it doesn't matter who the uh, who the enemy is, you're going to see the same damage output. And so the more accuracy you can give to T-Bone, the more damage you'll be able to deal with your passive ability in all scenarios, okay? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and now use the skill and we're going to compare a little bit of damage, okay? And so now you're not going to necessarily be using T-Bone for pure damage at this point because remember, Haran has a lot of defense and uh, it was able to deal about 12,000 down, but the key thing here is I can also land vulnerability. So that makes it easier for Jove to deal damage, 33,000. And unboosted uh, Algath is able to deal 27,000 damage each time. And if I were to, you know, uh, show you the potential for Algath, uh, you can sh see here, I'm just going to go ahead and um, give him a little bit of a boost here. And then you can see with vulnerability, he's able to deal 43,000. Okay, and so this is, um, in this case, you're using T-Bone as a support hero, a yellow hitter that is going to be able to 
to land defensive down and also uh, vulnerability against Haran that is really good and you can also cleanse uh, his uh, boost also every time it's his turn so that's uh, that is him against a raid boss and it, he should be useful in any of those situations in various different uh, raid bosses all right, so that's going to be it for me for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And, you know, again, thanks to the Streetbot Game Gaming Desk for giving me this opportunity to have this hero. I love him. I'm going to be using him in all of my fights, and I will be looking for other possibilities and other op opportunities, actually, uh, to show you how he can be used in the game. So thank you very much, everybody. Take care. Good luck, and I'll see you next episode. Bye now.